the coveted JRF, an odyssey of 13 units and a dance of six months. That's what it takes to qualify and become a scientist or a researcher in India. 13 units play an important role. The syllabus is vast, so is the courage and intention of every aspirant. But even if we have all the fuel of this world, even if we have, we have all the petrol of this world, our ship is bound to sink if we don't know the direction to our destination. Our goals are super important, but we must know how should we achieve it? What should we do to get there? And in that odyssey, in that journey, Biotechnica is a catalyst. Biotechnica gurus are the saviors. And today we have the savior for Unit 9. None other than Shamrita Ma'am. We are meeting her for the second time today in this How To and What To series. And we are going to discuss about Unit 9 in this episode 9 of the series. You now we look at this, whatever we discussed in like 1 to 8, Unit 1 to 8, is that sufficient? Should we skip Unit 9? Should we go for it? If yes, how much depth? Whether we should, um, you know, study from reference book, standard books or some, uh, you know, shortcut notes are available. A lot of questions. But we must invite the Krishna, then only the Arjuna can target the eye of the fish, not the fish, eye of the fish. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's join hands to welcome Shamrita Ma'am. Welcome Shamrita Ma'am, how are you? Hello sir, I'm fine, thank you sir. Thank, thank you so you much for joining us. Yes, and thank, thank you, you for so giving us the opportunity to uh, reach out to our students as well. Right. Thank you so much for joining us today for this uh, episode nine of What to How to series. And uh, let me thank you uh, for the previous session as well. A lot of tremendous you know, response we have received for the previous episode. Okay. And now that we are meeting again in episode nine, let us get started with the first question. And that is, how important is this unit for our preparation? So this unit is important because most of the students, they skip this unit. And that mm -hmm. is why they do not skip the unit because this can act as a game changer. This unit, if someone oh. analyzes this, you will, they initially will think there is so, many, so much to learn. But actually, these are the topics here. They have already studied right from their class 12. So that right. is why all they have to do is just revise. So what's the point of leaving this unit? This unit is very scoring, very scoring, mm -hmm. and you get direct questions from here. And when others are leaving, there's a tendency for others to leave, then this is your opportunity to score. Of course. Right. So that's where you have it, guys. This is something which most aspirants are going to skip. And that means you get an extra added advantage if you don't skip. But exactly. is it scoring? Yes, like ma'am said. So ma'am, tell us uh, what are the important topics from this unit? Right. So I have uh, made a list for the to a list of the important topics, especially for our students. Okay. So if I go, I will go part by part to be very sure. clear from this unit. The first okay. topic is principle and methods of taxonomy, which is mm -hmm. uh, mainly the, from here the main important part is focus on the phylogenetic tree analysis principle of parsimony and practice the cladogram calculation that much you do from here because mm -hmm. you get a lot of questions from here mm -hmm. next part is levels of structural organization so this is something we all know we have all studied about silom we have all studied about the uh, body symmetry right from our mm -hmm. school days so just revise that part next mm -hmm. outline class of plants, animals, and microbes. This is also we all have studied. Right. right? So just like that outline of uh, don't have to go into the detailed classification. Just the basic classification of animals, plants, and microbes. That will do. And their characteristic features. 
Okay. Okay. Continent. This sub part, if you want to skip, you can skip this mm -hmm. part because we don't get that much of question from. You. <clears throat> the next one, organism, okay. health, and agriculture are important. This sub part again is very scoring. We all have studied the host parasite interactions and we have taken up several uh, model diseases to study. So again, all you need is revision. And last, mm -hmm. organism of conservation uh, concern where rare and dangerous species are there. We are already studying this section along with unit eight. Oh, sorry, along with unit 10, ecology. Ten. Mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. So but this part is in common with another unit. So why leave it? Okay. So right. rest of it, ignore. But these important topics you should not ignore. Okay, okay, wonderful. So for the convenience of our aspirants, what we'll do is we'll put this list down in the description. You can download it later. All right, so ma'am, now we know the important topics and we know it's scoring. How should we study? What should be our approach to study this unit? Is it a facts-based unit or is it a logical unit? How, what do you see? It is entirely a facts-based facts unit. There's a lot okay. of memorization to do, but there's nothing to be scared about it. Because as I said, the topics, if you once start, you will see you have already studied these topics. Mainly mm -hmm. the students fear this unit. They always ask, ma'am, should we do this or should we skip this? Because they think that this is memory based, so it is going to take up a lot of time, which is not just the case. Okay. So what, I, what I recommend to the student is make a chart of any one topic. Mostly this uh, topic, you can't study from the book. That will not help. Right. Chart, diagrams, tables. This is how we should approach this unit. So take up mm -hmm. a table, take up a chart, Paste it on uh, one of the walls or wherever you can. Every day when you're walking by, you are bound to look at that chart. Your eyes will Correct. spot that chart. Just mm -hmm. wait over there for a few seconds, read that chart, and then go. In that okay. way, you will automatically memorize without even knowing that you're memorizing. So that lessen your burdens at the same time helps you to you know achieve your target or achieve your uh, this thing. Very true. Very true. So that means we have to create a chart, paste it on a uh, wall, and then ke keep looking whenever you pass by. Wonderful. So, ma'am, uh, let's talk about an average student who has like maybe uh, never been introduced to this unit, or maybe once or twice he has he or she has studied. So, on a scale of zero to ten, where ten being toughest and zero being easiest, what do you see the difficulty level of this unit? How difficult it is for an average student? Even for someone who has not been introduced to this unit, it is manageable, absolutely manageable. There is nothing okay. not to understand over here. It's all about memorization. And right. as I said, if we do it tactfully, then that memorization will not become a burden for us. Playfully also right. become memorized. So right. it's absolutely manageable and easy. So on a scale of 0 to 10, how do you rate it? 3, 3 to 4. Three. Three to four. Okay, that that makes it very easy. Wonderful. So, uh, do we have any reference book or any books available for this unit? Well, there are many reference books. Actually, if we analyze this unit, every section has got a different book. Now, it is not oh. possible to study uh, every right. uh, you know so many books for one particular unit because mm -hmm. we have many other units to study also. Correct. So what right. I want to say, Biotechnica has got its own set of books from unit 1 to unit 30. Of that, mm -hmm. take the unit 9 book and just study it thoroughly because it covers all the things that is required for to study this unit. The Biotechnica mm -hmm. unit 9 is a must. That is the only book you can refer to and you're sure to score from there. All right, those are the golden words, guys. There, there are a lot of reference books for this unit. So if you, you know, go in ahead and buy all of them, you will end up making a library and you'll never study from them. Instead, you can directly go for Biotechnica's Unit Nine standard uh, reference book, and that will be very easy for you to, uh, you know, study and revise and memorize. Okay, so ma'am, uh, we know about the unit now. We know the important topics. We know which books to refer to, and we know the approach as well as difficulty level. But Whenever we are studying, we will face some challenges. So what do you think will be the biggest challenge an average student will face while studying this unit? And how should we overcome that? Well, the challenge that will come is from the plant section. 
animal right. is something we all have studied somewhere or the other so it's all easy to grab but plant right. is always the ignored part and even if Correct. we study we will forget the plant part first and then we will forget the animal so that is something that can be a challenge so the um, students i will say do not ignore the plant part the classification is all that you have to study just look at this uh, classification read the features if you don't understand obviously those who are with uh, biotechnica we are here to help you out others you can uh, you know uh, search it in the google or the pictures and the books or something okay okay so uh ma'am when you teach this topic to the students uh what is the first advice you give them the first advice is don't be scared take it lightly you can also start with unit large you know start with right. the very very important those uh, unit 2 unit 1 unit 3 4 right. 5 there are all those big big units this is right. a easy one so take it lightly <laughs> okay that's easy one take it easy cherry right so uh, when we analyze the question paper of previous past 10 years what is the weightage like how many questions will come from this unit in part b and do we also get questions in part c if yes how many yes definitely we get questions every year there will be question from this unit from bo in both part b and part c from mm -hmm. in part b around one to two questions definitely will be there in part c also one to two questions will be there and the questions are very direct now students often tell me that for one or two questions should be study this entire unit now again i say that even if it is low as compared to other units like unit 8 unit 4 and all even if the weightage is low but even one mark or even two four marks question one four mark question also can change the entire mark sheet yeah it can so that it can be a game changer don't uh, leave it out you get question and they are easily answerable questions right right so uh, students out there uh, you see if you are under a tree and there are low hanging fruits obviously you will pick them first right this unit is a low hanging fruit so pick it up even though there are less low hanging fruits but it can be a game changer in the total calculation nobody is going to see which unit is sorted people will see what is your total score right so pick this low hanging fruit never ever let it go so ma'am uh, we have uh, now the next question is there are multiple other exams also dbt icmr and uh, you know ars net and uh, all such things so does this particular unit help us anywhere in any of these exams yes it does gate itself is going to deal with these classification of plants and animals from the zoology and the botany part so gate so has got excel. get gate excel get okay. excel uh, mm -hmm. gate he does not have that much of preference from the classical uh, classification at right. all but the eco uh, ecological portion that conservation part Uh, it is right. mentioned in our gate in the CBT also in uh, gate uh, BT also in okay. ICMR also the ecology part will be in common along with that uh, health and agricultural products. Now agriculture will not be asked for your ICMR but health those host parasites the animal mm -hmm. portion home portion right that will be right. All right. So now that we have reached almost at the end of our episode today, ma'am, my question to you is: You said facts-based question. So, what's your favorite question from this unit? Well, the sums from the cladistics, all okay. the Jacob coefficient, those coefficient. Based on that, we get the sums, and those sums are very easy, and we mm -hmm. get absolutely full marks from there. So that is right. definitely my. So what if I say, ma'am, that okay, somebody really wants to skip this unit altogether? How risky that would be, according to you? Well, that won't be very risky. But again, as I said, even if I can score two marks from here, you know, taking as right. you said, as a mm -hmm. apple, you know, the fruits they are lying low mm -hmm. hanging, yeah, low hanging fruits. So if I just can revise it without even think, you know, with that burden. And right. can get 
or two marks, four marks from there, then why will I leave it? True. That is Very a smart true. technique. For CSIR, we have to apply smart technique. If we go by Correct. the book, we think that studying the books is going to bring us CSIR, that will not happen. We have to do it smartly. And okay. again, I'm repeating this. For this unit, you do, don't even have to place a slot in your timetable also. Because mm -hmm. this unit can be uh, studied. So why right. leave it out? Of course, of course. Wonderful lines there, ma'am. So to all the CSIR aspirants out there who are preparing for this uh, next exam, what's your uh, message for this unit and overall general message? Uh, sir, I will say um, for this unit, the same thing I will say, do not skip it. Even right now, if you start uh, revising those topics, you will manage it by the time the exam comes. So right. uh, don't skip. But yes, in uh, your timetable, do have slots for revision for the other units, which are very, very important also. And as we are all discussing in this talk show, those units. And this one, take it as a break. No break may have a Kit Kat, so along having with the Kit Kat, just revise these parts. That's it. You will get the <laughs> wonderful, wonderful lines there, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time today. It was wonderful interacting with you once again. So, guys, we will now conclude our episode with the bottom line: these are low-hanging fruits if you are out there to harvest. So, why not pick them up first? So. Do not skip this unit. Study well. Study from Biotechnica's books. That's the one book you can easily, you know, study from. And you can score higher than others because you will have a better chance of, you know, um, extra added advantage compared to others. So it, this is actually, I can say, a rank boosting uh, or, you know, game changer uh, unit right so that's what you have got guys there thank you so much ma'am once again for joining us and for all the aspirants out there keep going with all the stamina all the courage all the belief because i know you're gonna make it at biotechnica we have a firm belief our achievements are a subset of our mindset if we have a winning mindset if we have the right approach and the right direction shown by our Gurujis, then we are going to make it and we are going to break this unit and definitely a JRF for lecturership and CSIR. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.